Hi and welcome to this video where today I'll be telling you all about my new tripod, the Benro Tortoise. This is the 35C model, which means it has five extensions, more about that in a second. And it comes with the Benro GX35 ball head. So I'll be reviewing these today, not sponsored in any way, by the way. So let me now get into the details of why I've chosen this particular one and why I think it will be a great fit for your photography. For those that you saw my K&F tripod video, you know that I was in the market for an upgrade and this is absolutely fantastic because I had a lot of problems with my K&F tripod. Check out the video after this if you haven't already seen my review of that tripod. First things first, this, the quality of this is absolutely outstanding. Just the general feel of it is amazing. So I'm gonna now start to go through some of the features. First thing to notice, as well as the quality, is it's super light for the sturdiness and the quality. I actually have the photo version. Benro do also do a video version as well, but I'm primarily a photographer, not a videographer, hence my choice of the photo version. And the locking mechanisms on the leg are twist locks, so it's super easy to unlock, really rapid to deploy this tripod. That's as quick as it is to unwrap the legs and putting them back together, super quick deployment and undeployment and adjustment. The legs also come with what they call the auto. Really, it holds the button in until it's ready to lock in place. So you can see here, this is it in its tortoise mode when you've got the legs fully out. And you could take the ball head off if you desire. It's just the normal center screw there as you can see, and the ball head is detached, and you could just attach the camera straight to that if you wanted to get super, super low. And at less than two kilograms, it's absolutely ideal as a travel tripod too. And it's amazingly sturdy given that weight. And even with that super lightweight travel style, the height is superb. The maximum height is 155 and a half, and the minimum is just 19. So you can get really low to the ground. And on that note, it's worth noting that it's columnless. Um, my previous tripod had a center column, which actually restricted its ability to get really low without turning it upside down. And I don't know about you, but I found it really tricky to use my camera upside down. And the other thing with it not having a center column is actually the sturdiness. I found that the center column simply added vibration and just reduce the stability of my tripod. So if I had it extended vertically or I could extend it horizontally as well, the vibration in that camera just transposed itself into all of my images. So I had to have incredibly fast shutter speeds and it didn't conduce itself very well to the concept of long exposures, which is this is perfect. So I'm not a big fan now of center column based tripods. And also, given it's lightweight, the maximum load it can carry is 15 kilograms, which is more than enough for a professional rig. I mean, I've got my, I use my Canon R7 with my Sigma 100 to 400 lens on it. Absolutely no issues in carrying that amount of weight at all. And let's have a quick chat about the accessories. Comes with a fantastically, this is a really good quality tripod bag. I don't personally use tripod bags, but if you are somebody that uses these, this is a fantastic bag. It also comes with some really handy little spiked feet, and those come with it as standard, so you can attach those to the bottom of the tripod. And talking of accessories, super handy this. Two of the, the rubber feet come with little Allen keys. That's the little, is it a three middle one? But this is fantastic for maintenance of not just your tripod, but actually general maintenance of camera equipment as well. And there's the slightly bigger one. I think that's a five mil. Further onto the discussion about accessories, it also comes with three standard screw fittings just at the top of the tripod. So it's super easy to attach accessories absolutely brilliant. I'm going to get myself a little arm so that I can mount my camera when I'm making these videos. Okay, now let's talk about the GX35 ball head. It, the handles are super comfortable, super solid. The other thing that's worth mentioning is the 
comes with a plate, it's Swiss Arca, but that actually has a mechanism. So you have to pull it out and twist a little bit further to get that out. That's a really great safety mechanism for your camera. Stop your camera falling off. If you do twist that, your camera won't go anywhere. And the other um, superb thing on this is the dual panning. So what you can do is, for example, if your orientation of your ball is different, you can actually do rotation of the head through whatever angle you require for a panorama or tracking any kind of shot. Absolutely brilliant. The other thing that's worth pointing out as well is all of the controls are different sizes and different feels. So the main dial for your ball head lock is absolutely brilliant. That's so smooth. That is the biggest. Then you've got the next biggest, which is your lock for your camera, super secure. And then your two dials for the panorama are slightly smaller. One of the other things that I did acquire as part of me purchasing this tripod was actually, let me just get it, was actually a geared head from Benro as well. And you, some of you this year, I've, I've been waiting to make this video until I've got used to the tripod. Super quick to fit. Some of you that have been seeing my videos earlier this year will notice that I've been using this pretty much all the time for my landscape photography. And I'm gonna be doing a video over the next few weeks regarding my geared head experience versus my ball head experience. So are there any drawbacks? Because I think I've given you a lot of super positives about this particular tripod and ball head. I think one of the potential drawbacks is just that low height, not being able to get upside down. I did used to use my old tripod upside down when I could get really low to the ground. I can get low enough with this, but I can't get under. The other thing is maybe the max height, maybe people want to reach over obstacles and things like that. Now it doesn't have that center column extension. Now there are extension columns available for this. Now when I bought this, um, they weren't in stock. So I'm gonna get some of those in the not too distant future as soon as they come back in stock. And when I do, I give you a very quick update on how sturdy and solid those are. Um, and the only other one that I thought of, but actually is not a disadvantage to me, the legs don't convert into a monopod. Now, some tripods have it where all three legs can become a monopod. I've never ever done that with a tripod. So for me, that really is not a factor in purchasing a tripod, but it may be something that you are considering if you're in the market for a new tripod. So in conclusion, would I recommend this tripod? So yeah, so 100% could not recommend this more highly enough. Not sponsored in any way or paid for by Benro. This was paid for out of my, my own personal cash and I have no regrets. The tripod is super great. The ball head is really such a massive improvement on my previous one. And with the geared head for landscape photography, I feel that this has started to take my photography to the next level on location. If you have found this useful, by the way, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Then please remember to check out some of my other videos after this. This is the location where I captured some stunning sunset photographs um, just a couple of weeks ago. And that video is up. I'll drop the link in the description below. And without further ado, thank you very much for your time in watching this video. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye.